Alright, what is going on everybody? Welcome back here today to another NBA 2K18 My League Realistic Rebuild. And today, we are doing a Charlotte Hornets Rebuild. So I think I'm going to make these Realistic Rebuilds, at least till the 2019 ones that we do. They're going to be on the weekends with double uploads. I think that is the plan for these Realistic Rebuilds. And I do like that mindset of this. So if you guys want to see any other team for tomorrow's Realistic Rebuild on Sunday, let me know in the comments below. But we are doing a Charlotte Hornets. And if you do enjoy these, drop a like on the video. So ironically, we did get the Hornets yesterday in the random trading everybody rebuild. So we'll actually be using a lot more of these players today. But actually, I think I left one thing on that I don't normally... I, I keep teammate chemistry on for these. I gotta keep... I usually keep rookie sign restriction on. And, okay, so we're gonna go to the draft lottery. We have the number 11th pick. Uh, I'll go into what I think I want to do with this team after we see where we're picking. Probably at 11. And it is 11. So... Shy G Gilgis is an option, but we did get him yesterday, so I'm going to try my best not to get him. We do need a new head coach. I would say is Mike... Bo no, but Mike Bollenholzer is in Milwaukee. Who's like a guy? I don't want to go Jason Kidd again. Uh, we could go Sam Cassell. We could go Jerry Stackhouse. Hmm. All right, let's grab... Do I want to grab D'Antoni? No. Uh, we might just grab one of these auto-generated guys. Uh, Jay Triano. Do I really want Jay Triano? All right, we're just going to grab Logan Schmidt. We're going to pay him a lot of money. We're going to fire our trainer. We are going to pick up a better one in Jimmy Lynch. And we are going to fire... Oh, John Smith is really bad. We'll get Trent Peterson. So we're going to get like a 2K auto-generated staff here. And we're going to fire our assistant team. We're clearing house. Michael Jordan is clearing house here in Charlotte. He's had enough of this team. He's had enough of losing. I mean, they did make the playoffs, what, like three, four years ago? But they, that was like their only good year in the past, past like decade. So... Let's go to the NBA draft now, and what I want to do is I'm going to trade Kemba Walker. Uh, it's time to move on. That's kind of what this video, it's probably going to be the the, th uh, the title, is trading Kemba Walker. You guys know I like to make kind of one trade in these realistic rebuilds to make it more interesting. So we're going to trade Kemba Walker, and uh, me, I would like to get a top pick in this draft. I don't think 10 is an option, but Clippers at 13 or 14, 12 or 13, I think I could definitely get the 12th pick for Kemba Walker and maybe another piece. So... Let's see here. Uh, there, we do have a lot of bad like contracts. That's the one bad thing. Dwight, he's in a contract year, so it's not the end of the world for him. Maybe we could flip him to a team. We'll see. Batum's contract's got awful. Marvin Williams is is not helping. It's got two years left. Michael K. Gilchrist, I'm pretty sure he's got a player option, so he's got two years left. Cody Zeller, three years left, and Kemba's one year. So, obviously, contracts I would like to get off this team is MKG, Zeller, Marvin Williams, and Batum. Those four, it's going to be very difficult. I do have ways to get them off the team, but it's going to take a minute. So, we're going to look at just Trade Finder to see what teams are interested in Kemba Walker before we maybe go to the we go to the Clippers for that trade. Uh, Lakers seem, okay. Oh, no, that's the Cavs. I looked at them, thought it was the Lakers. Uh, we could do this, but I'd rather, I don't want that contract as of now. We will, not fitting our timestamp. I mean, pick 19 and shorter is kind of interesting. Uh, I mean, I don't know if they're really a win-now team to do that kind of trade. We can get a ninth pick from the Knicks. We could do that. We could get the ninth pick from the Knicks. But I feel like the 12th pick is kind of more, like the Knicks wouldn't trade the ninth pick for just a one-year rental. I mean, he's probably not going to be a rental. Alright, so what we're going to do is, we are going to send Kemba Walker, I think, unless I want to look at the next trade for the 12th pick, um, and Patrick Beverly. Oh, of course, he's not under contract, god damn it. So I can't really get anybody else out of this trade that I would want. Ugh. Ugh. Like, I, I don't want, I'm not going to take the 12th and 13th pick for them. But if I could do the 9th pick from the Knicks and take Colin Sexton or Trey Young, if one of them is there, hmm, probably Sexton. Do we do Kemba Walker for the ninth pick? I mean, the Knicks were tied to them. It's not like exactly what they have to do in real life. So we could do this trade. And I would want... Do I want Moody in return? I would want Moody in return. So Moody in the ninth pick for Kemba Walker. And I will give them a second round pick here. So let's see if they do this trade. And they want a first and Courtney Lee. Okay, so what? let's just go back to the trade that they were interested in doing. Even though, oh, I don't want to take Courtney Lee back. That's the problem. I don't want Courtney Lee. Can I take... Can I... <sighs> Alright, let's just do straight up the ninth pick for Kemba Walker. Let's do it. They agree to that. So we have the ninth and 11th pick in this year's draft. I'm hoping to bang a, a point guard at one of them. Uh, to bang out a point guard at one of them. And then, obviously, I would like a... I think a center. 
if Robert Williams is here, he's definitely on top of my board, or a wing player like Kevin Knox. So I'll see you guys our case hires with who we take at 9 and 11. These are going to be the cornerstones, the franchise pieces to this rebuild. Okay, guys, so I did maybe have a questionable draft. So at this rate, I went best available rather than need base like i didn't draft a point guard i didn't go after a point guard maybe it was the hesitation that i didn't want to use shy gilgis for a second video in a row but it's whatever we take me bridges at nine i was kind of surprised he fell to us he's a shooting guard size small forward he'll be here he he's a beast and i think we can build around him then the sixers take a reach on him to diallo at 10 and this man right here fell to us at 11 jaron jackson jr 78 overall power forward says center who's uh, projected a top five pick so I jumped on it. Shai just did go to the Clippers at 13. Kevin Knox did go 14 to the Nuggets. Carter did fall too. Wendell well, no Carter. But yeah, Jaron Jackson Jr., Keenan Evans, they drafted. Okay. Uh, sure, we'll sign you. But yeah, we do have Mikel Bridges and Jaron Jackson. Welcome to the team. Uh, not really the best need bases in the world. Yes, we need a point guard desperately. But it is what it is. So if there's anybody right now that I could maybe move, like Dwight Howard, I don't think we're going to be able to move him. So I think he'll be on the team this year. And unless any team is willing to because he's got a big contract and i don't really want to take a lot of contract back a lot of salary back there's not many teams that need a center desperately uh because he's 32 so it's not like he's a nice young piece like maybe the hawks would want a center maybe we could do dennis schroeder for dwight howard and like a pick i don't know like jeremy lamb and dwight howard for dennis schroeder is that an interesting trade like do you think that's good value for them like they're getting a good shooting guard a good shooting shooting guard uh is his defense good um, not really, but he's obviously a good shooter. We know that in Jimmy Lamb. Dwight Howard, who, no, he, he was just traded from Atlanta. Yeah, that did not work out well. All right, screw that. Uh, yeah, I don't think, I mean, the Nets, no. The Lakers, no, I don't think they would ever get him back. The Kings, maybe, but, all right, screw it. So, we're just going to keep him for, on the contract for this year. I feel like we could find a team that would maybe want Cody Zeller, just because he's 25. Maybe Atlanta would be, would be interested in Cody Zeller. I don't know if Dennis Schroeder has that little value. Uh, the Mavericks are interested in getting a center for Cody Zeller. Um, okay, so they're interested. I'm not going to take a first-round pick for Cody Zeller. What is this, 2021? Actually, we're going to throw in a second-round pick in 2022. Cody Zeller for a 2021 first, and they agree to that. So Cody Zeller, they're buying high on his value. They need a center. So we cleared up that $13 million in salary. Now we have... What so we have three guys left that I want to get rid of their contracts. Marvin Williams, King Chris, and Batum. I don't think I'll be able to do those this year, but we need obviously a point guard. So let's look at free agency. Obviously, Chris Paul is not really going to be at the top of our board. Neither will be Isaiah Thomas. So I'm just looking for a guy that can give me good, like just a just a bridge year that will start. Do we go after Trey Burke? Then we give Trey Burke a shot here in Charlotte. We give him a nice like five mil, so we know he's coming here. We'll give him a two year deal with a team option. And he'll probably start for us at point guard. Him and Malik Monk, not a good defensive backcourt, so we're going to get him. We are going to read out starts on Julian Stone, the former rookie of the year, Michael Carter-Williams in Philly. Jesus, he had a really good rookie year. Uh, Trayvon Graham, Mancog, Methang, and Marcus Page, my boy from UNC. So we are going to get Trey Burke, and then that'll be it for this lackluster free agency for us. I don't know if we'll make a play next year. Maybe we could go after a white side next year. It'll be a big free uh, center class next year. I'll see you guys at training camps. Obviously, I think I kind of negated when I did draft Mikel Bridges uh, that I had Malik Monk. So I think Bridges is going to be playing some small forward this year. And Jared Jackson Jr. is going to be starting a power forward. All right, so on top of Ted Show, I think I'm just going to straight up send it to all three of our young guys. Also, like, um, this is a shout out to all the people, like all the like low tier team, not low tier teams, low market teams. I just don't do rebuilds a lot of like the Hornets, maybe the Hawks, Pistons uh grizzlies don't worry those will be coming i try my best to do every team obviously there's a lot more fan base on youtube that wants to see more uh teams than others but don't worry i'm gonna show my love you're definitely getting like like the hawks like the top picture definitely getting like a player rebuild around who they draft one and then if they make uh big free agency signings that'll be another one and then i'm gonna try to do all 32 teams realistic all 32 teams fantasy for 2019 style going into 2k19 so we have a lot to do so it's like that that later August period is not like so dead and the beginning of September is just not so dead, if you know what I mean. So let's see what this team's gonna look like. Jeremy Lamb, as much as I I kinda like you, I'm gonna be starting other guys. Okay. Uh one Malik Monk needs to get minutes. Okay, so Marvin Williams, you're gonna get like ten minutes. Hernan Gomez, you're gonna get or Kiko, because you're gonna get like sixteen. Damn it, you're a bust. Uh Hernan Gomez, you're gonna get fifteen as well. Jeremy Lamb, you're gonna get twenty uh five. Uh, Kaminsky, you're going to get 20. 
Yeah, so this is going to be this. Malik Monk, 28. I don't know about that, but let's let's move you up here. Honestly, we're going to start our young guys. I'm going to take the route. Um, who's our coach? Logan Schmidt's going to take the route of starting the young guys over over some of these bigger guys, uh, the veterans. So Batum, you're going to get uh, 19. We'll give 19 of this uh, Kaminsky too. Howard, 31. We have eight minutes more left. Okay, well, that's not a lot. Honestly, do I even care about Marvin Williams? I mean, I don't know. Could we find a trade for Jeremy Lamb at the beginning of the year just because he's on a contract year? I would take a late first for him if a winning team wants to add that scoring, kind of like how Lou Will is traded, stuff like that. I don't know if we'll be able to do it. Okay, I'm not obviously trading him to the Knicks. Pelicans, they do want shooting, but the thing is I would I would get a first-round pick, but I would have to take back $8 million in salary. And credit, they could have a terrible year, which that could be big. Pistons, I kind of like this one more. So we're going to be trading our 29, um, their 2019 first half I protected and Ish Smith for Jeremy Lamb. So we're taking on Ish Smith's $6 million salary. Jeremy Lamb, they're going for that shooting uh, to pair up with Reggie Jackson. They're trying to make the playoffs this year. They're going all in for the playoffs. So we look at this now. Let's give Malik Monk 32 minutes. Let's give Bridges 32 and let's give Jackson Jr. 32. We can give Trey Burke 28. Let's give Batum 25. All right, so that's going to be for me now. I'll see you guys at the end of the year. Let's see how this team does. I have no idea. I want to be bad. I want to be bad. Hopefully, the Pistons are kind of low-key pretty bad because we'll have our pick and theirs if they're not top five. And, yeah, I kind of want to be bad. I want a top pick, and I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Uh, guys, I'm so mad right now. See, I wanted to have, like, a 30-win season, get a top five pick in this draft. This team decides to win 42 plus games and we're going to make the playoffs as a 7 seed. Oh my god, you got to be kidding me. All right, it's just going to set us back more. Like when you need to rebuild, I say this a lot. Like you can't settle for these seasons. You're not going to get better. You have to tank. Sam Hinkie like knew what he was talking about. Like you need to tank. Most improved player does go to Mike Monk, which that's good. Hopefully he, like it sucks not putting him in the G League for him to be like a 20 point scorer because you can, but it's not realistic to throw him in the G League the whole second year. So, as long as we get to, um, okay, Jaron Jackson Jr., 14 points, 6 rebounds, 2.5 assists. Not bad. MB Cup Bridges, 15 points, 4.5 rebounds, 1.7 assists. Not bad as well. So, we were the 17, so we actually have something to look forward to here in these playoffs. The Pistons looks like they weren't too good. Were the Pelicans good? They were. Pistons. They're going to have, like, the 7th pick projected. So, that would be big for us to get that pick. That would be very big. Our rookies and our sophomores showed out this year. Dwight Howard, it was cool having you. But, that's probably, like, you're good overall. It's just, like, you're 33, man. We got other problems to fix with this team. Point guard and probably center. So, I'm just going to see with the playoffs. If we somehow w beat the Bucks in round 1, we don't. Thank God. So, I, I just want our pick to be better. Unless we were going to somehow win it all. Which, I don't think <laughs> was going to happen. And it's Warriors. Cavs for the fifth year in a row. I just want the Warriors to win this year in real life. So if LeBron leaves, because if LeBron stays, then we're just going to get Warriors Cavs next year. So let's go to the draft lottery now. And as long as that Pistons pick doesn't shoot up from seven, I'm going to be very happy. Let's go. Okay, so we have the seventh pick in this year's draft. Let's freaking go. That was a steal of a trade. If I ever say so. We just rob the pistons of that and okay so trade finder nicholas batum is somebody i would like to move now there is a way i could do this and this is what i would have to do i would have to trade the seventh pick and nicholas batum and move down to like 12 or 13 to a team that is not good and just wants to move up in the draft that will take on the cap who has like 12 dallas dallas this would fit them so we're going to be trading pick 7, unless we can move down to like 10. We could move down to like 10. 11 to the Hawks. Okay, uh, 11 is definitely an option. Who has pick 10? Uh, Portland, yeah, they don't have the cap. Who has 9? Would this work? Uh, Miami, definitely. Okay, so we're going to do this with Atlanta. Atlanta's getting, what, a year or two of Nicholas Batum. They're moving up 4 spots in this year's draft. I would like the 21st pick from them. So they do have two first. So we're going to be in the 21st pick. So we're going to have three first round picks in this draft. They're getting Nicholas Batum. And yes, yeah, so we're going to make this show work. So now we have the 11th pick and that contract is off our hands. But they took that to move up four spots in the draft. So we have 11, 18, and 21 now in this year's draft. I'll see you guys at Rookie Signings with who I take because I'm going to be drafting players. All right, guys. So I did finish up the draft here. And for my third first round pick, I did trade it and my second round pick to the Timberwolves for their future first and second because I just didn't find a room. 
to draft somebody. So Jalen Hands and O'Shea Brissett, a point guard and small forward, are the two players I did draft here. Jalen Hands could be a G League guy because I would like him to develop. So Hernan Gomez, obviously going to bring back. Trey Burke, that's not really good starting numbers. I'm not going to bring him back. Obviously, Malik Monk, Dwayne Bacon, no. Uh, it sucks we have Kid Gilchrist and Marvin Williams. Maybe I could find a trade for one of them just because they're in contract years. That definitely ups their value because it's not them being held down by team i will offer a four million dollar extension or qualifying offer to frank kaminsky so do we have cap space in this free agency okay we do so center is obviously a big part of this team i would like to go after uh dwayne Edwards getting some interest from the spurs and kings the white side could could be a huge part of this team could be a huge part of this team uh there is not really a good point guard class here that i would throw a lot of money at Knicks are throwing Kemba massive extension. The Bucks are throwing Bledsoe massive extension. Don't really want to uh, fight with that. Yeah, so we definitely won this Pistons trade. Um, I don't know if we've really won the Kemba trade yet, but uh, I think really the best option here, the most safe option, is to go after Whiteside on a four-year deal. And we would still have $31 million left over. Damn. I mean, I don't really want to go after Kemba. I really don't. Isaiah Thomas... Do I want to offer Isaiah Thomas 20 mil a year? That's the thing. Do I give... I mean, I, you know what? I might. Just for the reason I'll give you in a second. I Next year's free agency class is going to suck, right? And we're going to have 26 million getting off the books next year. So I might as well use that because King Gilchrist and Marvin Williams, it's actually 27 mil, will be off the books next year. Might as well use that now. We're going to throw 21 and a half mil at Isaiah Thomas. I feel like this is a Charlotte move. He's still a very decent player in this game. It's not like he's trash. We're going to throw a two-year deal, $21 million. We'll see if that if he accepts that over the Suns deal. Hopefully he does. Let's see. And he does not. So he doesn't even accept it. So there goes my logic there. So uh, we are going to sign Whiteside. He goes back to the Phoenix Suns for some stupid reason. So next year, we could be making a play at somebody else. Honestly, I kind of want to throw a deal at Towns just to see if they're stupid enough not to bring him back. Um. Okay, yeah, they are. Uh, I mean, they're not stupid enough to bring him back. Uh, wait. No, they're... Okay, never mind. I'm hurting my head. See, I could go after Pat Bev here. I think I'm going to go after Pat Bev really. Uh, could we give you 9 mil for two years? Um, like, cool. And, yeah, let's do this. Because we're getting a good defensive point guard off the bench. Uh, we are going to sign him. Frank Kaminsky for 8 mil. We are going to not bring back. Uh, it was a good couple years here, dude. But we are going to let you walk uh, to whatever team signed you. I forgot what it was. And if we're looking at our team next year, it's going to be Pat Beverly. We'll see about Jalen Hands. I think I might throw him in the G League. We're going to have Bridges. If I move him to small forward, does he go down? No. Okay, so we're going to have Monk there. Bridges, uh, Kid Gilchrist, uh, Jaron Jackson Jr., Marvin Williams, Whiteside, Hernan Gomez. So that's actually uh, nine players right now, but I might sign a backup shooting guard, Jeremy Lamb. <laughs> now nah, the Pistons are going to bring him back. Uh, Wayne Ellington wouldn't be a bad deal for just a one-year deal. Wayne Ellington, would you come here? There he will. And, okay, so I'm kind of torn here. Do I throw hands in the G League, or do I throw Brissett, or both, I just go, yeah, like the 11th pick, I might just do that, and the 18th pick, just throw them both in the G League, so we would have, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, we would still have 9 players to play, right, wait, yeah, we would, all right, I'll see you guys at training camps, we might need another bridge here, and the year after this year will be our main year to win it all, all right, guys, so training camps, let's go to untapped potential, Let's definitely send Jalen Hands there, because if he's going to be the point guard for the future, we got to get his just attributes up. Uh, Bridges, let's send it to, and then let's send it to Jaron Jackson Jr. Uh, I just want their defense to be a big part of this team, to be honest with you. So, we are going to sign, I think, a free agent here uh, real quick. We are going to send a backup point guard uh, if something ever happens, even though injuries aren't on. So, we are going to be sending Jalen Hands to the G League. They did sign Ron Nutto for us. And Alex Sabrina, so it looks like. And we are going to say O'Shea Brissett to the G League. Uh, somebody said you could send three people to the G League. I don't think you can because, look, I, it won't allow me to sign another free agent, I bet. Yeah. Uh, oh, you can do two ways. Is that what it is? Like to send another player? Yeah, look. Like, Spencer Hawes. I did not mean to edit Spencer Hawes. That's the last thing I want to do in this freaking game. Like, look, if I want to negotiate a contract, we already have 15 players. So how can you send three points to the G League? I don't know. Somebody let me know that in the comments. So if we look at our team. Malik Monk's obviously starting in shooting guard. I don't want any to hear, hear any if, ands, or buts. Let's give... Honestly, I'm cool with Ellington being a six-man. Um, Marvin Williams. Yeah, I don't really care for any of these guys playing. Marvin Williams, you can get 10 minutes in your contract here. Kiko Chris, you can get 16. Hernan Gomez, 20. 25 to Ellington. 34 to Whiteside in his new... I forgot kind of all about Whiteside in his new Hornets jersey. Okay. Let's give 34 to the front court. 
Let's give 34 to Bridges. Let's give 34 to Monk. And let's rock 31 to Beverly. And we'll give one more to Ellington and one more to Kill Gilchrist. All right, so that's going to be for me. Now, if we were 17 last year, we're still in the Eastern Conference, so I do have faith in this team. I'm just hoping everybody develops well, and I'll see you guys at the end of the year. If we make the playoffs, we make the playoffs. Guys, I wish I could tell you why we're so good. I wish I could tell you why we're so good. How is this team going to win 60 games? I don't know. I'll show you guys my sliders after this. But look, we're ending up on a five-game winning streak, six-game winning streak. We win 60 games. Is Mar is my uh, Miko Bridges and Jaron Jackson Jr. just this good? I guess the Jaron Jackson Jr. white side front court is just amazing. I don't know. I guess we'll check it out. Any Hornets? Probably not. There's no way. Uh, any Hornets here? No Hornets. And we're probably not going to have any rookies. So, yeah, I'll show you guys the sliders before this. I do keep uh you're gonna see yep uh cpu contract trade uh if these were i'll go over my sliders if anybody's wondering you went superstar uh, a lot of people give me hate so if we go into game I'll, I'll switch it to hall of fame but um i do, for realistic rebuilds i do turn these on 45 everything else on 50 uh injuries off um and then it's pretty much normal stuff besides i turn stepping roll off keep this on and then turn these two off turn roll changes off keep teammate chemistry on and, yeah, but I turned teammate chemistry off for any fantasy style rebuilds. It's just realistic style, re style rebuilds. So, we have 94% teammate chemistry. First, I want to see Jalen Hands, who's going to be a 78 next year. Brissett's also going to be a 78, so that's key. If we don't win it all this year, which I don't know how we're so good. Uh, we are the one seed. We somehow are the one of the two teams that have won 60 games. We're taking on the Hawks in round one. Schroeder, Porter Jr., John Collins. Pretty good. Pretty good big three there. I mean, not like insane good, but it's pretty good. Malik Monk drops 18 a game, four and a half assists. Okay. Bridges, 15 and a half. It's got to be our defense. With Bridges, Jackson Jr., Whiteside, and Beverly, it's just got to be our defense that's just carrying us. I, I I mean, I don't know else why else we would be this good. Like, there's our top four. Yeah, our points per game is god awful. It's second worst in the league. But our defense is by far the best in the league. Okay, it's been our defense. That's what it is. Jalen Hands, you better have some good defense if you're playing next year. Uh, but we're up 2-0. How, like, how much? Did, 82 points and 83. Okay, our defense is amazing. Jerry Jackson Jr. drops 29 in game one. Okay. And he drops 15 in game two. Game three, we're up 3-0. We hold them to 84. They have not scored over freaking 84 points. They go 82, 83, 84, which is kind of weird. Um, we're 83, 82, 84. Whiteside drops 26 in this game. And just like that, we sweep them. They don't even score over 100. Okay, yeah, you can see our defense is for real like right now. Taking on the Bulls here. Uh, Marketing done. Miles Bridges, the other Bridges. Uh, Dwight Howard, okay, our old buddies in Chicago. Game one, we do win, though. They score 63 points. Oh, my God. I'm, like, astonished right now that this team is so good defensively. We're up 2-0. They do drop. First team to drop 100 on us, but we drop 113, and we win. Game three. Oh my god. They do drop 100. We drop 111. Mika Bridges drops 40 freaking 2. Oh my god. What's Monk doing in these playoffs? He isn't even playing that well. It's Bridges that's carrying. Oh my god. And we haven't lost the game. They score 91. Guys, guys, guys. Like, I don't know how we're this good. I really don't. Like, does 2K love the freaking Hornets? Game 1 against the Cavs. If we sweep the Cavs, I'm literally just going to say 2K loves me in this. Uh, Jaron Jackson Jr. drops 23. We held them to 90 points. Game two. There we go. We get our first playoff loss. Like, I'm, like, an an anticipating our first playoff loss, which is, like, weird because we're freaking, like, I never would want that. But, like, we're 8-0. We were 9-0 at one point. I'm expecting a loss. Okay. Uh, third, Malik Monk jumps 33 points in game three, and we blow them out by freaking 39. Game four, we're up 3-1. to one. Okay, so we're going to be going to the finals, I think. So, yep, we went in five. <laughs> We went in five. Malik Monk jumps 22. Bridges 19 and 11. And we're going to the NBA Finals to take on the Warriors. All right. Game one, we win. Okay. If we win the finals, did I just, like, figure out 2K's cheat code and simulation-wise? Curry drops a triple-double. Okay. I feel like they're going to go up 2-1. Nope. We go up 2-1. My Miko Ridge drops 35. Oh, my God. Game game four. Oh, my God. We're up 3-1. to one. How? 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 Somebody explain this to me. Somebody explain this to me. No, I didn't randomly, like, I'm not that good of an editor to randomly cut out, and you would see this, like, it, it wouldn't look like that I cut, and I would change this down. No, like, I, I don't know what is going on right now. I'll take it, but I don't know. If we win on the road here, no. Okay. So we're going to have our first series where we have let up two wins to the opposing team, and we're heading game six here into Charlotte. If we get blown out here, um, don't think we're winning this game. Okay, we're down by two. 40 seconds left. 
I'll, I'll give it an attempt here. All right, so then I remember we're playing the Warriors in Hall of Fame. So I don't know how well this is going to go. Let's just see. Yeah, Mika Bridges is A-plus permanent. They have Ed Davis, and I see Pau Gasol in. So it's Curry. Um, okay, if Curry hits this. Okay, thank God. Let's give it a Bridges here. I don't know how good this team is. Is Monk in? Monk is in. Um, okay, Beverly, get over here. Uh, let's see if we can get a three-pointer and take the lead here. I mean, this is pretty big right here, but I trust Malik Monk. I trust Malik Monk. I really do. I trust him. Why did I why did I ever throw Oh my god. Oh my god. All right. I guess we're going to a game 7. I mean, it, we're down by 4. Uh I'm going to try to hit a 3 here. I'm not going to really try to get a 2 and foul. I think I'm going to go for the 3. Malik Monk. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. That would that would have been big. Ah, oh, you had an open look too. I got to I guess I should have went for a 2 to tie. I I, I was just feeling Damn it, are we really going to pull a 3 1 lead? Because I'm kind of nervous going to game 7 in, at the Oracle. I don't think it's going to work out well. Do I go for a 3 here? No, let's go for a 2. Okay, so. Actually, this was a pretty good look. Uh, Bridges cut left. There we go. On KD and 1. Okay, he's going to the line, though. We're at home, so there's going to be no shaking of the screen. Please have a good free throw release. There we go. First one is wet. He's 3 for 13, so Bridges did have an off night. He has an aim on his 3 pointer, so I should have maybe shot it with him. Alright, so uh, we're obviously going to foul here. Uh, I wish I. All right, foul, 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 foul. There we go. Fouls KD. Um, if he makes both, I'm just going to go for a three. Uh, and yeah, pretty much that's it. If he misses one, obviously we have a chance to go. Actually, no. Wait, I have to. Yeah, I'm going to go for the three anyway. No matter what, I was going to go for the three. So I don't know why I was trying to sugarcoat that. So, hmm. I don't know why Bridges inbounds the ball, which is kind of an annoying. If he inbounds the ball, I'm going to go. Yeah, I'm just going to go to Monk again. I trust Monk here. He's got an A-plus three-pointer. Um, all right, Monk. Monk, you got to step back. Monk, please. God damn it. All right, we're going to a game seven. All right, game seven. Here we go. Can it at least be close? Don't want us to get blown out. Please, please, please. Okay, okay. Come on. Let's go. All right, two minutes, 42 seconds left. We're up by one. It, it, this is it. I think this is going to be the video right here. If, it, if we win, if we lose, it might not be. Let's do this. All right, so we're in the game. I want our starters in because Wayne Ellington is a four. Why is K. Gilchrist in? Okay, I don't want K. Gilchrist in right now. Yes, white side, good stuff. All right, K. Gilchrist, you're going to drive to the rack on Jordan Bell here. Let's see what you can do. And one. And one, Michael K. Gilchrist, the former Kentucky Wildcat, has a chance to put us up by four. Let's freaking go. I don't know who we have to take out for him. Um, all right, Malik Monk get in for him. And, yeah, so we got Bridges in on KD. I. Uh, we got Kiko Chris. Actually, Kiko Chris on Clay is not bad. And then we have Beverly on Curry and Jackson Jr. on Draymond when he gets in. We actually have like the defensive lineup to match up with this Warriors team. Uh, we nowhere near have the offensive firepower, but definitely. Okay. Curry is just gonna just okay. Just embarrass me. Ah, oh, he's so good. All right, Bridges. Let's see what you can do. I, I want to see what you can do. Uh, I'm not gonna take a three. I want to go ISO with you. Let's get a pick from Jackson Jr. Maybe a pick and roll. Uh, Jackson Jr. Roll. There we go. Oh, what the heck? What is this animation? Just go up. Just go up. Get a foul. Okay. What was that animation? Like, I tried pressing A, and it just didn't pass the ball. That was annoying. First free throw is up. He's got a 95% chance. Okay, that's good. I'm like, I'm so nervous. I feel like every freaking point counts. I need to make every possession count. Because uh, I feel like I'm never going to get misses from them. All right, Draymond must have fouled out because he's not in. Monk's got C plus permanent D, so I'm actually going to control Monk on Clay. Uh, so just everybody else do their jobs here. All right. Good D on KD Bridges. Good to stay with him off the screen, at least. I'm not scared of Pau Gasol. Not scared of Pau... Okay. White side... Oh, I'd like a little bit better of a play there at the rim. All right, Monk. I want you to redeem yourself from last game. This three-pointer, if you hit right now, would be huge. Please just get open. Please just get open. White side, what are you doing? You're not taking this three. Ah, that was not a good luck. All right. White side. I should have asked for the pick on the other side. Oh, my God. Okay. White side, you got to give me a screen here. All right, Monk to the rack. There we go. Don't get blocked. You missed the freaking layup. Oh, I was scared that was going to happen. Just no threes. No way Clay hits that. Let's go! Oh my god, I'm losing my voice. All right, Jackson Jr. wants in the post. Let's see what he can do on Jordan Bell. He's going to back him down. No? Okay, he gets fouled. And one! Oh my god, I've never seen that animation. Jar Jaron Jackson Jr. And one. That is what I'm talking about. Our former uh, 11th overall pick. That we took with our pick back in the Season 1 draft. I don't even... I guess we don't even need to see... J uh, Actually, I'm not going to say anything yet. We're up by five. We need stops. No threes. No threes. Does anybody get what no threes means? Does anybody get that terminology or no? Or am I just speaking out of my ass? Does nobody get that? Okay. Bridges. Okay. Um. Okay. We got Clay on Bridges. Uh, definitely, I think Bridges is a lot stronger. So, Bridges to the rack. Just dunk that. 
You get blocked. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, no, Monk was open. Oh my god. I should have threw that to Monk. All right, Monk drive. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Monk, just get fouled, please. Oh my god. I just got bailed out. What the? F <laughs> oh my god. I should have kicked that out to Monk. Monk was wide open from three. Monk's got 23 and six. Please knock down this free throw. Let's go. We're up by four. 32 seconds left. All right. All right. All right. No threes. That is the name of the game. No threes. Just I don't care if it's a two. I will let them score twos. If if, if it goes over eight seconds and they got to start fouling, I'm sorry, Monk, but I'm putting in Kid Gilchrist over you. We have timeouts. We'll call timeouts to get you back in if we need you. He's going to be all upset that we're benching him. I'm sorry, Monk. We're getting the defensive lineup in. This is about to be... Oh my god, I can't believe we're in a game seven right now. I'm surprised we just didn't lose in round one, or we even made the playoffs, but it's a story. It's a defensive story. We're bringing the defensive light back to the NBA. You don't need all offensive firepower. All right, Beverly on Curry. He's the one person. I, I don't care. Give the ball to Jordan Bell. Give the ball to Jordan Bell. Just no threes from Curry. Is KD? No, KD is in. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, stay with them. Stay with them. No threes. I don't care. I don't care. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Our best free throw shooter here, I trust Bridges the most, I think. So, let's get Bridges the ball. There we go. Foul me. Okay. Oh, my God. This is so scary. All right. So, we still have our defensive lineup in. Just no threes, please. No threes. They're going to work some screenplay here with Curry. Okay. Okay. KD's open. Okay. That's a two. That's a two. It's going to go. Oh, okay. I thought it was going to miss. All right, Bridges. I need you back here with these free throws. Uh, okay. Get it to Bridges. Get it to Bridges. Get it to Bridges. Oh, okay. 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 Let's go. Let's go. Um, There we go. Uh, so we wasted a little bit of time off. They only have one timeout left. Oh my god, he's got no energy. I'm kind of scared to take these free throws right now. First one. All right, that should be good. Let's go. He's a very good free throw shooter, it seems. Second one is up. Please don't miss. Let's go, baby. Still a four-point game. If they get a miss, we're going to win. If they just, that's what it is. If they don't, and they get a two, right? And if we make both our three throws, I think it's over because they don't have any timeouts left. And I think the time will run out. But if they hit a three here... It's going to be no bueno. No bueno if they hit a three. No good at all. Um, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. No way. I just, like, you can shoot a two all you want. Just no threes. Why did you... I'm going to freaking rage. I'm going to rage. Why did you give him room, Pat Bev? Why did you give him room? Oh, my God. Bridges, you are f my, you are my life, dude. Kevin Durant fouls out. Just make this. Don't make this interesting. Oh, my God. He makes both of them. All right. That should be game. No, wait, it's a three-point game. Oh, my God, no, no. It's a three-point game. I forgot they just hit a three. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, please don't send this to overtime. Okay, I don't care about Pac Gasol. I don't care about Jordan Bell. But why would you? On me, air balls. Let's go. Let's go. Jordan Bell air balls the three. And we're going to win the NBA Finals, the 2020 Charlotte Hornets, just because of defense. Defense wins championships, baby. That's the motto of this video. Defense wins championships. I think low-key the best signing this team made was... Patrick Beverly, I just think him adding him at point guard was just so key, was such a major asset and pickup to this team. We didn't even need to see the development of O'Shea Brissett and Jalen Hands. We got it from the guys we drafted in season number one. Whiteside wins finals MVP. Okay, 13 half points, 9 half rebounds. Wow, I can't believe we just won it all. These are the playoff stats. It's not even like we had an insane score. Can you look at playoff teams that you can? We allowed 92 points, the least in the the whole playoffs and we had the best point differential that's how you do it boys build your defensive teams especially in 2k it helps out a lot a minus permanent a plus a minus b well that was hands inside d a plus for white side jared jackson jr actually not that good of a defender i mean i feel like he would have higher numbers than anybody should like how good of he is a, of a player in real life so yeah that's gonna be for me they were watching hope you guys did enjoy the show at hornets realistic rebuild god knows how we won it all god knows how i won it with also on hall of fame too you guys saw me switch that i mean like i'll show you still i think we're, we're st we still better be on hall of fame but yeah that is gonna be for me thank you all for watching i hope you guys did enjoy this charlotte hornets realistic rebuild let me know in the comments what tomorrow's realistic rebuild should be there will be a double upload today later today with a fantasy draft with a stipulation on it so that's gonna be for me thank you all for watching i love you guys see you guys next video peace